Christ's ultimate sacrifice for us motivates us to sacrifice for others. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Lawrence Darmani. Lawrence writes, I love birds, which is why I bought six caged birds and carried them home to our daughter Alice, who began to care for them daily. Then one of the birds fell ill and died. We wondered if the birds would be more likely to thrive if they were not caged. So we freed the surviving five and observed them fly away in jubilation. Alice then pointed out, Do you realize, Daddy, that it was the death of one bird that caused us to free the rest? Isn't that what the Lord Jesus did for us? Just as one man's sin, Adam's, brought condemnation to the world, so one man's righteousness, Jesus, brought salvation to those who believe. Jesus said in John 10:11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Lawrence continues, John makes it more practical when he says, Jesus Christ laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. This won't likely mean literal death, but as we align our lives with Jesus' example of sacrificial love, we find that we are laying down our lives. For instance, we might choose to deprive ourselves of material goods in order to share them with others, or make time to be with someone who needs comfort and companionship. Who do you need to sacrifice for today? Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 1 John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? That's today's scripture reading from 1 John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Let's pray. Lord, selfishness is a struggle for all of us. May the sacrifice you made for us encourage us to sacrifice for others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.